Hello, all of you Van Gloriously wonderful people. This is the RC Bandito, and I'm about to find out a fiddle off-road in the snow. Hey, make sure you go vote for the vehicles that you want to see featured in upcoming Will It Off-Road videos by clicking on the link in the description down below. And we are off, and we have our first comment. A yellow circle, first of all, great name. And yeah, you know what a Tesla X, not all X would be kind of nice, though, uh, I don't know that I really need to see the Cybertruck in the game, though I have a feeling it will be. And if you think, oh my gosh, you've got to want to level out here, Sirens, nah, it's just Commander Hobo in his lifeguard Granger. And uh, there at the starting line, I hope you took a good look at it, because it's pretty much, I think, the only time you can see it. Um, so, yeah, voting uh, got reset on January 1st. It is now January, I don't know, what, what day will this video go live? Uh, it'll go live on January the 13th. So in 13 days, there have been three votes submitted for 10 different vehicles. That's not good, guys. Um, I know not everybody wants to go vote, but it kind of just also tells me nobody really cares. Uh, I don't know. So I've got a plan, though, if we don't get any votes, of something we're going to do a little bit different with we'll off-road for a little while if we don't get the votes. I'm not really going to tip my hand any more than that. Uh, to indicate what that may be. You'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, but I do like it when you guys vote because that lets me know I'm testing. Well, testing. I mean, we can loosely call this a test. I mean, let's face it. Will it off-road has become more about the shenanigans than actual tests. I mean, it gives us a brief idea, a basic idea, but it's not. We don't take it too terribly seriously. Um, terribly serious, I think, is how that sentence should have gone. Anyway, um, yeah, I like to know that I'm driving the cars that you guys want to see. So hit that link up and please go vote. Uh, so the RC Bandito. Uh, <laughs> I love the RC cars in this game. Um, when RC Bandito was first announced with Reno War, well, announced, but it was one of the unreleased vehicles, I was really skeptical. I'm, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't think so. But you know what? I love it. And I don't even have the explosives on mine. It's just a remote control toy car for me. Um, and it's a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun with this thing. The only problem that we ran into for this whole run is that, of course, you're off the radar when you're in your RC vehicles. So everybody that was following me, you saw there, Sven got really close twice now just running me over with his monster truck. And that won't be the only time, trust me. Um... But so because of that, I have to, you know, kind of, we, we were kind of communicating back and forth uh, where I was. That is until Commander Hobo switches vehicles. You'll notice here pretty soon a helicopter appears on the map. Um, yeah, Hobo couldn't get the Granger up the mountain. Which, uh, whoa, that guy went fly. Did you see that? Holy cow. Ooh, that was awesome. Uh, so Commander decides to be a camera ship. Um, and flies in a helicopter. You'll see it take off here in a minute. Uh, but RC Bandito is doing really well. In fact, it's doing better in the snow than it did in regular conditions, which makes me think maybe we need to do an RC version of what off road coming up pretty soon. Or maybe we do both the uh, Invade and Persuade tank as well as this truck again. Because the first time it, it took it. I don't know, um, a minute and four seconds longer? Yeah, a minute and four seconds longer than what we're about to see right now. Because um, it fell off the mountain. So, I mean, yeah, obviously, 345 is what I'm calling it. it obviously, falling off the mountain is an issue you have to be careful with. Because this thing is bouncy and it likes to roll over. Because even though it's not very big, in relation to itself, it has a very high center of gravity. Um despite the battery pack being kind of in the middle there it's still well up over those wheels so I, I struggled to find my way back up to the top um and i figured i'd leave that in just so you could see the struggle there we go down the stairs there's a dead hiker can't imagine that would have happened but will it off-road yeah yeah, it'll do really well, actually. Um, you got to remember, the thing is, I have a very good top speed, so 345, not too shabby, really. Um, I think I'm okay with that. There's Commander and his helicopter. 
uh, lovely orange to match my RC truck, which is, that's so thoughtful of him. Are we missing something? No, everybody's up here. So, back down for the control descent. And again, when I tested this thing the first time, it was in its own standalone video. And I just realized it wasn't in uh, the little spreadsheet of results this whole time, which I have corrected. Its uh, original numbers are now in there by the time this video goes live. But it got a really bad time going back down the mountain, too. Uh, like, really bad. Like, almost triple what it gets, or almost double what it gets here. Uh, which is really weird because it's total opposite of what we're going to see on the next vehicle that takes a lot longer to do everything than it did in dry conditions. But yeah, the RC vehicles, I don't know, the, the way the camera adjusts down and gives you that whole unique camera look, uh, the way they handle, ooh, danger, danger. Uh, the way they handle, the way they drive, just the sounds they make. Even like when they flip over, there's that plastic hitting the ground sound. All very accurate. I was really into RC cars when I was a kid. Um, had a few, and I had friends who had a few. Uh, and so, I mean, I have a lot of experience. Apparently, it's been a little bit, you know. I mean, it's been, what, two or three years since I was a child. But, um, <laughs> and, um, you know, so I, I have to hand it to Rockstar that they've done really well. The RC stuff. Uh, I'd kind of like to see, even though we have drones in the game, I wouldn't mind seeing some RC planes and, and RC helicopters, you know, like Vice City and, and all those had. Um, even though those are such annoying missions, those RC helicopters. Oh, nearly got monster trucked again. Um, you don't, you really don't want to get monster trucked. It is, ooh, yeah. Ah, uh, you thought I said monster fuck, didn't you? There we go. Got the F word in there to make sure YouTube knows this video is not safe for kids. Take that, Kappa. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's late at night and my brain's just coming up with the most ridiculous stuff right now. But it's making me laugh, so I guess that's important. Ooh, look at that jump. Almost beautiful, but this thing has no brakes. So, uh... Yeah, out into a tree, and that was the first major collision that it suffered. Uh, and keep that in mind. That's kind of where it all starts. You probably kind of figure out what I'm hinting at there, but uh, that is where it does all start. So, back up onto the trail so that we can continue on down. I was a little disoriented at this part. I'm like, wait a minute, where am I? Which happens in this car, because your perspective on, on where you are in relation to landmarks that you're used to seeing is different, because the camera does sit down at such a weird angle, plus the fact everything was snow-covered when we recorded this. Just made it a little disorienting there for a minute. But yeah, it's just doing fantastic in the snow. I, I don't know if maybe the snow actually helped it by slowing it down a little bit. Or what? I really do want to retest it uh, in dry conditions and see. Now that I've had a lot more time in this to play with this thing, it doesn't do better. But we're down and sideways. 3 minutes 28 seconds. So, Espen drives right over me. We're going to head back to the top for our damage descent. Have to uh, be careful that we don't hit the helicopter. Almost. And we are on our way. And this thing's going to take some really big hits. Get some really big air. I mean, look how far over there we went. I don't think we've ever seen that cliff before that we landed on at the left. But taking some really nasty hits. Pretty soon you're going to start seeing just the faintest bit of smoke start coming out of this thing. Which, I mean, it doesn't have exhaust. So I'm just guessing that's damage to the lithium-ion battery. And uh, lithium-ion battery fires are fun. They make really neat fires. If you've never seen one, go watch, uh, go look for the YouTube channel, um, bigclive.com, like big word big, Clive, C-L-I-V-E, and bigclive.com is his name, or just Big Clive, you'll find him. And then once you're at his channel, look for, just search in a loop, E-N-E-L-O-O-P. And, and one of his, one of the first matches will be a, a video where... He tested some lithium-ion batteries to see what was in inside of them. And spoiler warning, and it's right there in the title of the video. Anyhow, he puts in parentheses, fire, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, just saw, yo, know, there's the monster truck. Definitely got hit by the wheels that time, and look at what that did. 
thick black smoke pouring out of here. Those batteries are going to explode any second now. Um, so yeah, this thing can take a lot of explosions, but it can't take too many hits from a monster truck. It's actually cutting out on me. It's kind of hard to hear uh, since I'm doing a voiceover, but the the motor, the electric motor, is uh, cutting out inside of this thing rather frequently, and uh, it's that's not good. Uh, that's bad for any car in GTA, but it's really bad for one that despawns when it's too damaged. That last hit into the wood pile probably didn't help, but they backfired, actually. We're down in two minutes and one second, and then the damage was just too much, and it despawned into a bubble smoke. So, total loss. It was death by a monster truck and or the Dutch. I, I blame the Dutch. All of them. The whole country. Uh, the, it's, the, it's, yeah, it's the metal one's fault. So there is our uh, support vehicles. Uh, even though it's not what Creator originally started in. And you can see a snowball heading right towards Dark Doctor to hold him in the head. But that brings us to our next vehicle. The Invetero Coquette Blackfin. Under the Mystery of Nighttime. Of course, there were no votes, but you can go vote for the vehicles that you want to see featured. And please, please do. I can't mention that up enough. Uh, yes, Donkey, I'm glad you finally got your ass. But if you guys don't know what Donkey is talking about, well, one, that tells me that you need to go into the description down below. Oh, look at that drift I just did. That was kind of impressive. Well done, me. Um, anyways, if you have no idea what Donkey was talking about, I know you're not a part of our Discord server, and you should be. Because we'd love to have you come hang out with us. We're we're all nice-ish. I'll say that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, go to the link in the description down below, join Discord, and then you will be in on the inside jokes in the comments. Because Donkey was recently uh, removed from his role as moderator. Oh, God, here comes Commander. Yeah, well, at least I got a boost. Um, Donkey temporarily lost his role as moderator. Because we discovered he didn't own an ASBO, and we also decided because of that that that's a crime, and he had to be punished for his crime by losing his moderator privileges until he bought an ASBO. And he bought an ASBO, he posted a video of him upgrading his ASBO, so he now has his moderator privileges back in Discord. Uh, and please, go check out Sperry Donkey's channel. He's been growing a lot lately. I'm really proud of the work he's doing. Like, you can see each video gets better and better and better because it's like he goes back, he's watching his stuff. I know he is. He hasn't told me he's doing this, but I know he is because his videos keep getting better and better. Uh, and because of that, he's getting more and more views. So uh, he's over on my channel, over in the right-hand side on the main page under other Vanglorious channels, right there, Sparing Donkey. Or I'm sure he'll leave a comment on this video so you can just click that and go to his channel. Go check him out, please. And while you're at it, go join our Discord server, because you need to be there. And you also need to be playing with Off-Road Bingo, because you know what? There's going to be a lot of time here where you can check some boxes. We're going to get going forward again, and then I'm going to go ahead... Bye, Sven. See you later. That's for killing my monster, or my remote control truck. You deserve to fall off. Going to speed up time about 700%. Um, taking about seven minutes down to a minute. Uh, because this, this takes a while. So I hope you don't get motion sick from all the, the quick camera pans because of the way the, the sped up footage goes. But, uh, make sure you play well at Off-Road Bingo. That link is in the description down below as well. Uh, you just click on, uh, the link. Once you're there, click generate card. And then either on your mobile device or your computer, you just tap or click on whatever you see happen in the video. And if you get bingo, put it in the comments. Bingo! Um, or if you're part of our Discord server, you can put it there, too. Um, only had three bingo winners. Maybe four. I think it's three, though. I have trouble keeping up with that. Yeah, I managed to wind up all the way off the side. I had to drive all the way back around. Yeah, it didn't go so well for the uh, Blackfin. Normally, I DNF a vehicle after it fails a section three times. But I don't know. I, I really felt like it could do it. And you can see I just slowed time back down. I have that power. As a YouTube creator, we all do. We can speed up, slow down time at our will. And my faith in this car was not misplaced. I think, honestly, it was more driver issue, which, you know, was me, to be clear, than it was the car. Because this is now going, that kind of startled me. This is now going really, really well. Ooh, pretty. 
So yeah, that's all the promotions for all the things that you can jo go join, except for you're also missing now on Willard Off-Road behind the scenes, most likely, where you get to see a longer version of the video with everything that happened in between all the edits, uh, including a lot of these snow ones, the snowball fights. Uh, and you do that by either being a subscriber on Twitch, a member here on YouTube, or a supporter on Patreon. And I'm sure you guys know how to do all that. Plus, I'm going to have a channel update video soonish that talks about all that in links. So I won't go any more into it. So the black fin, I mean, it's a muscle car. And the muscle cars have a lot of low end torque because it makes them go in a straight line very fast. Um, or very quickly. Their top speed may not be very fast, but they definitely have, you know, decent acceleration for the most part. Um, but because of that torque, they also don't have tires and the grip to match that when things get slippy. Oh, there goes Sven showing off in his coquette. Different one, though. Totally different one. I'm just trying to find a place where the car will stop rolling and not wheel spin at this point. So I decided instead just to coast back a little bit and cheat a bit, use this flat spot, get a little bit of speed before I quit going. So hopefully it was just enough momentum, and it was. But yeah, it's a muscle car. So yeah, it's going to struggle in the snow. Though, muscle cars do, as we saw at the beginning, as we'll see again uh, when we go back down the mountain, can pull off some really nice power slides in the snow. You can get the back end hung out and then actually use the throttle to keep it hung out and just keep it going around a corner at an angle. And it's just, it's so satisfying when you get it right. Um, satisfaction that I tend to not experience very often. I usually get it very wrong. Uh, actually, no, I see a paler that I struggle with the most. Uh, the shorter wheelbase muscle cars I tend to do all right with in the snow. Just slip slide around, just spin around every once in a while. And then a paler, man, that thing. The paler and the Duke of Death and the regular Dukes. I guess it's just that longer wheelbase or something. I can't drive those things in the snow to save my life. As we saw, what, last year with the impaler? Is it DNF to go up the mountain? I could never get the thing up the mountain. And thought I had enough momentum to do that, but then the back end lost grip and it kind of slid around a little bit. So we're going to have to go back down just a tad so that I could try to get some amount of speed. God, we have been at this so long in GTA Online. The sun is coming up. We started off in the darkness of night. It was like 11 o'clock at night in the game, and now the sun is rising. But look at that. A little bit of throttle control, which is not something, you know, hand-fisted people usually do. And we're up 13 minutes and 10 seconds. So will it all throw to the snow? Yeah, ignore that ding. Ignore that enthusiastic yes. No. God, no, this thing won't fall from the snow. Leave it parked. I mean, technically it made it to the top of the mountain, but technically I should have DNF'd it because it failed after its third attempt in one section. But again, I think that was more driver. It just took me a while to find on the throttle where I could keep this one from spinning. Some cars are a little more tricky to find that sweet spot. Others, it's real simple and you get it like even before you start really climbing the mountain. And in some cars, it's just like, it, it, it just seems to change constantly. And this is one of the ones it just seemed to change constantly, which is, you know, kind of how it works since the conditions are changing constantly as well. You know, incline, you know, the angle, where the wheels are relative to each other, all that would, you know, impact how much grip you're going to be able to get. But God, listen to that engine and it's engine braking. It just sounds so mad. It's like, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to muscle car. I dig it. I also dig the paint job on this car. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I actually have two of these. Um, I actually have two of each coquette in the game. A uh, hard top and a soft top. Or a ruthless of each one. Because I love Corvettes in real life. I'm not a big fan of uh, the current C7. The C8, I like. C7, I wasn't so in love with. But anyway, Black Finn doing fine. Uh, that engine braking sound is not just a sound. Cars actually do experience some degree of engine braking in this game, and you can tell just by letting off the throttle on a really steep incline when you hear that engine braking sound, you actually can feel the car trying to slow itself down. Um, and that's kind of how cars do work if they've got, you know, the right gearing. 
and the right type of and the right type of compression on the engine too. Uh, most cars will let you brake. It's harder to do in automatics, but you can get it to do it. Um, but yeah, just trying to take it easy with the black fin because I know I don't have a whole lot of grip. Um, even though this car, when it came out, was really competitive in racing in the snow, it just doesn't seem to have the grip that it needs. But managed to do a nice little turn there as the engine protested. Back in tried to get away from me, but I corrected it because, wow, a string came down at me. But I corrected it because, uh, you know, I finally found out how to figure, or figured out how to drive this car in the snow. To the point that I'm pretty sure we do a really nice entry into the, the uh, yeah, here we go. That was a beautiful transition. That was under throttle and everything down to here. Using the throttle to just kick that back in down around. I'm really steering more with the, the gas pedal right now than I am the steering wheel. And it was a lot of fun. I wish I would have figured out how to do it long before I had taken 13 minutes to get the car off the mountain. But like that little turn. Not very fast. But you know what? That's the great thing about a muscle car in the snow. Or really re any rear wheel drive car in the snow. You don't have to have a whole lot of speed to have a whole lot of fun in the snow. It, it works out. We are down. Three minutes. Two seconds. So... Let's take this beautiful, slightly battered car back to the top of Mount Chiliad and fling it off the side and see how we do. Which, you know, it's damage to say. It's kind of gravity and some hopes and dreams at this point. Bounced off the first one with a nice landing, but not so much on that. Land, managed to land on the roof. And I've got people closing in right behind me. Probably Sven let me show off in his coquette, which is the older but newer car and i'm in the newer but older car if that doesn't make any sense to you well his car came out in gta online first so it's older but it's based on a newer body style of corvette whereas mine came out second therefore it's newer but it's based on an older body style of corvette so yeah he is driving the older newer car and i am driving the newer older car. look at this massive series of just spins this is, I don't think I've had that many flat spins on the ground ever in Will It Off-Road. That was, that was kind of nice. Oh, God. Definitely had a bit of an issue there. Lots of fiberglass was damaged. Or plastic, however you want to look at it. Um, but you know what? We continue forward. Surprisingly, the engine not suffering any damage at all. Uh, no rattle whatsoever. Definitely, definitely, though, we are struggling in the bumpy, muddy bit. This is just not the the place that this thing that needs to be in, like a commander's ranch. Right? He's chiseled it to a fine point in the back end. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at another look at that here in a minute, but wow. That thing was beat to hell. So we're coming up here to our last little bit coming around the corner maybe and we are down one minute 58 seconds so we'll take a look uh, at the damage on the coquette which is all the lights the rear window the left door the hood trunk and right door won't close and the wheels are bent and we'll also go check out the support vehicles in just a second look for the snowballs in those screenshots and that's going to do it for this will it off-road again don't forget to vote for the vehicles you want to see in upcoming videos and uh Come hang out with us on Discord. So until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.